Good afternoon. My name is Jimmy. Today I'm going to be making ramen and add some dopoki. Actually, the name is called ro robuki. Ro ro I don't know what I'm saying. But it's essentially ramen with dopoki. So, yeah, let's get to it. I got this from a Asian grocery store. My friend says this is made for white people. So we'll see how this tastes. Okay, first things first, we're gonna make the sauce for the ramen in the dopki. And I found this recipe, well I found this Instagrammer. She made um, this recipe and the video. So I'm just gonna copy it. I'll link it to her page. It looks pretty good so I just wanna try it out. So, but the only difference is she used like a powder. I only have this kind, which is basically a liquid form. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of gochujang. This. I don't know if it's necessary since this is already like that. So let's see how it goes. Okay, and then you're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of sugar. And half a tablespoon of soy sauce. I don't have any soy sauce. I'm just gonna use coconut aminos, which is just like a healthier alternative to soy sauce. Yum, salty sugar water. Okay, and then you can add one teaspoon of garlic powder and then half a teaspoon of the spicy ramen packet flavoring. Nope, oh, that's not gonna fit. Half a teaspoon of this stuff. Oh, yeah, that should be good. Dang, that smells spicy. I hope this turns out okay. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this together. All right, now everything's homogenizedly mixed together. Homogenized? I don't know if that's a word. Everything's mixed well. We're gonna go boil some water and then throw this in there and throw in the rice cakes. Okay, after you bring a pot of water to boil, about a cup of water, you're gonna add the little sauce thing that you just made and then mix that together and bring that back up to a boil. Now I'm gonna add some rice cakes. I'm probably gonna do like a handful. This, yeah. Let this boil for five minutes. We're gonna add some ramen. Oh shit, that's not what you did in there. And you want to let this boil for another five minutes until the ramen is done cooking and the sauce is thick. That 
This is optional, but I'm gonna add the cheese packets. Baby, here's yours. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> of course, can't forget a soft boiled egg. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom, done. You wanna come try this? Good as all the Korean people make it sound. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Good job. Nice. That's good. Cool. Now I'm going to make mine. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, everybody. That has been cooking with Jimmy today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't get this recipe out of nowhere. This was I saw this on Instagram. So go follow her. She makes a lot of good-looking Korean street food. So yeah. Um, Who is it? I don't know her name. I, uh, it's like Cafe Maddie or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Cafe Maddie. That's it. That just says her name, Cafe Maddie. So I'll link that and you guys go check it out. But uh, shout outs to her for this recipe. It was really good. Alright, everybody. Peace out. Oh, oh, oh. Peace out. But also, don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have other videos up there too. Alright, peace.